welcome back and today is the review of the first part of the baddies reunion now this first part did not disappoint i thought it was going to be majority of them talking behind the scenes they didn't do a lot of that they got straight to business and i love that and then of course they didn't bring everybody out at the same time but it wasn't like three or four girls they brought out like nine ten girls so they definitely got it right this time i definitely enjoyed this first part it didn't go how i thought it was gonna go at all so let's go ahead and get into it so they honestly didn't spend much time backstage with all the talking so neither are we basically natalie is expecting an apology from tommy i thought she was crazy <laughs> but we'll get to that anna in my opinion seemed to be nervous um and Tzatziki was just ready for dying. So they start the reunion. And as we know, they have a live audience. So, dang, Diamond got beat like that in front of a live audience. <laughs> um, and Bobby is doing commentary with the mic from the audience. Okay. And Saucy Santana is the co-host, as we already know. So they start off, they bring out Jayla, Natalie, Sapphire and her notes, <laughs> Scotty, Mariah, Biggie, Tessiki, Meatball, and Callie. So Saucy asked his first question to Jayla, and I like this question. He asked Jayla basically why she didn't keep the same energy with Mariah that she did with Jayla. I mean, not Jayla, with Gretchen. Because as we all know, you know, Mariah got caught saying the N-word. Well, we, we already knew she said it, but recently it was a video that went around with her saying it in the van. And, um, you know, Jayla was basically like, I'm not gonna fight you or whatever, but I don't appreciate that you use that word. And, you know, I like that she addressed that because nobody else said anything about it. Like when the video came out, none of the baddies commented on it. Like, I just thought it was weird how nobody said anything. Um, but that's one thing that I do like about Jayla. Like if nobody else is gonna say it, she is gonna say it when it comes to that topic. So I'm glad that somebody mentioned the video. And Mariah kind of like owned up to it, but like they really didn't go that much into it because they didn't wanna talk about it until Gretchen came out. But I mean, Mariah could have, you know, took her accountability. <laughs> that didn't have nothing to do with Gretchen. But you know, they moved on from that very quickly. Next, they bring out Bianca, and Bianca was booed. <laughs> and the audience was, somebody was screaming chicken noodle soup. <laughs> they asked why she came on the show, and um, basically she said for Mariah, which we knew, we saw in the messages. And Sapphire finally confronts Mariah on these messages, which basically show that she did set Bianca up to come fight her by pretending like she still had an issue with her. But my thing is, didn't Bianca try to tell her that at that one-on-one -on -one that they had and Sapphire kind of like dismissed her? She didn't really care. So it's just like all of a sudden, like, is it because you saw the comments from the fans or like what? Because you already saw these messages. Um, and then they start talking about how she was talking about Tessiki in some messages as well. So Bianca gets, I mean, not Bianca, Mariah gets up and she starts walking towards Sapphire and Tessiki trying to explain herself. And in the midst of that, Bianca ran up on her and <sighs> Mariah's eye was jacked up. <laughs> like she got her good. She finally got her lick back. Um, so then they do a round two and it was a, a tie a little bit, but Bianca still got that in my opinion. Um, Mariah walks off set. She gets really, really mad. Her and Bianca go at it. Bianca is following her off set. And in that moment, Mariah quits. She leaves the set, which we know she comes back for the Baddies Midwest auditions, but I already kind of had a feeling she had quit the show, not necessarily not being asked back. Um, once I saw the auditions and then I knew what happened at the reunion, I was like, ooh. Maybe she quit because she was just getting beat up left and right. <laughs> but that was all of her karma coming back. She deserved all of that. So, yeah, Mariah left the reunion. And I don't think she's coming back. And she was. she's not on Bad East Midwest. I could believe she probably quit after all of that. So, yeah, Bianca comes back out and they move on. Um, Saucy then addresses Biggie. 
And he tries to say that she tried to jump Bianca at the ATV thing, which she didn't. She just snatched her goggles off, which was wrong, but she didn't try to jump her. And, you know, I didn't really say anything about Saucy being the host. I wanted to wait until I saw it to give him the benefit of the doubt. But knowing his personality, I kind of already knew there was some truth to what Anna and Biggie was saying. Now, granted, he is calling people out. Like, he is saying things that need to be said, but... Two things can be true at once. He is given bias. Like, it's very obvious who his favorites are. She's, he's being very messy. Like, when Mariah was being carried out after the fight, he was standing up yelling at her, like, you're a host. So, you know, he's making very slick comments towards the people he don't like. Like, he, he is being very biased and very messy. And honestly, I expected nothing less from Saucy. So when Anna and Biggie came out saying that, I believed them. And then some people were saying that he um, held people accountable. I believe that too. Like both of those things can be true. And obviously they both are. So then they move on to Callie. And Callie is still playing victim regarding how she came in the house to me. Like you came in on BS. Nobody was bullying you. Nobody had an issue with you. It was the way you came in. Um, but she finally apologized and they move on. And then they talk about the Biggie, Jayla, Natalie thing when she said she would slap Jayla. And Biggie, I don't know why she made this comment because in my opinion, it's not true. Um, and even Natalie disagreed with it a little bit later on. But she said that the reason that she came for Jayla was because she didn't want to come for Natalie because Natalie is the boss. What? I mean, I thought that was a weird comment. So that just set Jayla off. <laughs> and, you know, it's kind of valid because she just kind of admitted to using Jayla as a scapegoat, which is weird. And I don't know why she said that because Jayla was on live laughing too. Like she could have just said, I said, I'm gonna slap Jayla because Jayla was on live laughing at me and I thought we was cool. Like, I don't, I don't understand why she said what she said. Um, but like I said, it's valid that Jayla got upset, but I don't understand why she got that upset like i don't understand why she be giving biggie the energy that she gives her in my opinion she does bully biggie i don't think she's a bully but i think she bullies biggie and i'm not sure why like i don't know why she was doing all this yes the reason that she said was stupid but like she didn't have to go off like that like even natalie <laughs> he was trying to stop her like it, it didn't make sense to me um, and then in the midst of them arguing, Natalie brings up Teddy <laughs> and how Teddy talks to Matt. Teddy is not real. That's what she should have said to Natalie because Natalie is the one that's always bringing him up. But then again, both Biggie and Jayla are getting on my nerves because Biggie is not owning up to anything. She's not taking accountability. She's talking about, oh girl, those were my thoughts. Those were Teddy thoughts, girl. Teddy is not real. Like, I don't care if she's trolling or trying to be fun. Like, it's just, like, have a real conversation. But then at the same time, again, I just personally feel like Jayla is just doing too much. Maybe she just came ready at this reunion. You're ready for anybody. Maybe she was just like, whoever I got to be, whoever I got an issue with, if you want to fight, whatever. I don't know. That could be the case. That could be the case. But she was just doing a lot to me. It honestly could have just been a conversation. Because now it's just like, okay, now you you not give the Mariah the same energy. Oh, I mean, I personally feel like she bullies Biggie. I don't think she's a bully, but she bullies Biggie. I don't know why she dislikes her so much, but she does. And it's apparent. So next is Tommy. <clears throat> and Bobby is trying to introduce her backstage. And I don't know if he's just too excited for her or I don't know. <laughs> but she snapped on him. Like she fought him like three times. And I don't what did he do like what did i miss like, i don't tommy be tripping like i don't know why she hit him like I, <laughs> that was crazy but she walks out and she hugs natalie and they squash it immediately i mean that's great because they don't pull so many times like they should they definitely should have gotten it out by now um and you know her little minions jayla and Scotty, now all of a sudden they laughing at her, they living for her, but you know, Scotty was trying to fight her at one point, Jayla was talking best about her, 
when she came back to fight Natalie this season and like but now that they hug you know everything's cool so whatever so next Slim and Tinka come out and this is just where it just goes up so first of all <laughs> Bobby comes back out right <laughs> and Tommy hit this man again <laughs> him again what did he do <laughs> oh my god and bobby was scared like you could tell he definitely went and told roly <laughs> and told roly to handle that for him <laughs> but yeah so yeah that happens then tinka and meatball square up and i'm not gonna lie like it was kind of like a tie at first round one was a tie to me round two tinka tried to like do that slam thing and Meatball was getting more hits in round two to me. Then Slim and Meatball fight. And it was kind of close, but Slim got that in my opinion. But that was a close fight. Then Meatball and Jayla fight. And I really don't understand it. Like even Scotty was like, why is everybody fighting Meatball? Like I didn't understand it. The only one I understood was Tinker versus Meatball. Everything else was just like, and she was lining them up like right back to back. Like, okay, Meatball, she got my respect for that. No weapons yet. But, you know, she ran them back to back. And she, she didn't complain. She didn't throw no tantrums when you see her crying and throwing tantrums. Like, okay, okay. But, yeah, Jayla and Meatball, they do a little, a little tussle because Tommy stops it. And she tries to tag Tinka in for Meatball. And, and like, girl, Tommy, what is Tommy on? <laughs> yeah, but then anyway... Jayla gets out the way and Meatball and Tinka fight again. And Meatball got that one. She got her on the couch and yeah, she got that one. And the episode ends there. The next week is Anna versus Nunu. The chair situation between Tinka and Meatball. Looks like they both tried to hit each other with the chair at some point. And Tinka is getting carried out. And somebody said, well, Santana said she was having a seizure. I don't know if he was joking or not, but that never came out when the reunion tea was coming out. So I don't know. Maybe she trolling. Y'all know how Tinka is. And then, you know, the infamous DTV versus Tessiki. Now, it don't look that bad. Um, obviously, I'm sure Tessiki was hitting her really hard, but I thought the fight was going to be more brutal than what it is. It doesn't look that bad, and it looks like it's a pretty quick fight. So, okay. I might be able to watch it. <laughs> but, yeah. Um... That was part one. I'm very impressed with part one. It was pretty good. We got a good amount of dialogue and fighting. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> but it is what it is. Like, we know what type of show this is. But it wasn't just fighting. Like, for the most part, they really saved the fighting until the end of the episode, which was great. They did a lot of talking. Um, the live audience isn't really interfering too much. So that's cool. I mean, okay. They definitely stepped it up this reunion in my opinion um so i'm definitely looking forward to part two and i'm sure there will be a part three because the replacements and everything still have to come out so yeah i enjoy part one y'all let me know what y'all thought about everything y'all let me know who y'all thought won the fight who do y'all think got the meatball and tinker thing i think meatball got that the first round was a tie but then with the last two rounds meatball got those ones so I will get that to me, Ball. And then we got to see what happens with them next week. Um, who else fought? And then Slim beat me, Ball. Like, just, just by a little bit. Just by a little, little, little bit. But she got that. And then we really haven't seen the Jayla and me, Ball yet. But, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about everything in the comments down below. Stay happy, healthy, and all of that good stuff. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.